Hey guys, welcome back. How are you doing today? Today, I'm going to show you five must know tips as a software developer, as a software engineer. And make sure to stick to end of this video where I will show you one bonus tip that you cannot afford to miss. So without wasting any more time, let's go straight to tip number one. As a software engineer, I think the most used app for me is this terminal. I use this all the time to run some scripts, to create some Docker files, etc. For anything, terminal makes you a super user. There are so many times when I'm doing something on my terminal and wants to open Finder to check the files and open them in text editor. Sometimes to edit it, sometimes to take a quick glance at it, sometimes to read long log files. It is really handy. Well, this command is going to save you a lot of time and will make your life easy. Just type open dot and it will open finder it will just open the current directory you are in if you want to open the file just name open and give it a file name and it will open a file in the default program or application that it is configured with let's look at the second tip to install command line tools and homebrew i cannot emphasize more on use of command line tools and homebrew Brew is going to save you a lot of time. It will let you install a lot of packages that you want to install using terminal. It is really easy. I think one of the first steps that you need to do as a software engineer to configure your Mac is to install command line tools and homebrew. Every developer utilizes command line tools. A simple terminal command will allow you to download these. It will ask you to confirm after you have entered the command and about homebrew. If you're going to install your development environment on your local machine, rather than running it in a Docker container, you are going to want to install Homebrew. This is the command to install Homebrew. I will list all these commands that I'm mentioning in this video in the description below. So, so you can just copy it and paste it in your terminal and just hit enter and it will be installed for you. Let's look at next tip, tip number three, how to show hidden files or folders in Finder. As a software engineer or Anyone who is doing development kind of work, being a student or a full-time software developer, you need to see some of the hidden files to make changes to the configuration files. Usually those configuration files, like setting those environment variables, all those files are usually hidden from the user in Mac. So this is the command that will let you see all those hidden files. There is a keyboard shortcut as well, but I'm going to stick with the theme of this video of using these commands in terminal. You can just copy paste this command. You will find that in description and just paste it in your terminal and you will be able to see hidden files and folders in finder. And I'll also mention the other command that will turn that thing off so that if you don't want to see those files that you can just copy and paste that command to turn off that setting to see hidden files and it will not show you hidden files anymore. Next tip, tip number four is really cool. When I figured this out, I think it was intuitive, but I was not using it too much. And after I saw it, I think I use it all the time now. So this trick is to drop files onto the dock to open in an app. So let's say I have this file. Let's say this is a Java file. I want to open it. So usually if I double click on this, it will open with the default program or application. But if I want to open that in IntelliJ or let, let's say if I want to open that in Sublime of, or brackets, you can just take that file, click that, drag it and drop it onto the icon in your dock and it will open that app in the application that you want to use it in. For the next tip, I think it is going to be really useful in your day to day life as a software engineer. So we work with files a lot. We spend a lot of time in Finder as well. And so this command is going to help you in a way in which you can basically use it as a terminal command. Hit command shift plus G and you will get a go to folder window. In that window, just type in the path you want to go to. Sometimes you feel like you want to go to this path from terminal. It is really easy. But when you are trying to go to that path in the finder, it is really clumsy. So what you can do is you, you can just do PWD in terminal, copy that path, just go to finder and hit command shift G and paste this path and you will be at that location. This is really useful. So just keep this trick in your mind. Whenever you're installing something or doing something, doing something on your Mac, you will need this. I'm telling you, just keep this trick in your mind. And as promised, I'll also show you one bonus tip. This is really handy. It will improve the performance of your Mac. This trick is purge. 
What this command does in terminal is it forces apps to release RAM that they might be holding on to that they don't need anymore. So with this command, you will get more memory to play with and your current pool of apps can use more memory and it will obviously improve the performance of your Mac. And if you learned something new today, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. I'm planning to put out more such content. Thank you so much. Don't forget to exercise today. See you in the next one.